ni chairman hapa Mr Alfred Mtua before upati huyo kiti yenye uko nayo wewe uliongea mambo tamu sana pale kwa parliament ukasema ukiingia uta make sure umenyorosha mambo ya wakenya kusafiri nje za nje mikakati sawa sawa inatumika wewe ukasema ukiingia utasafiri kwenda Gulf kwenda ku make sure umeongea na wakenya umejua zile shida ambazo wanapitia na utaweza kutatua uh, shida ambazo wakenya wanapitia Gulf ingine wewe ukasema uta regulate ma agent ambao wako na maofisi Kenya Mr Alfred Mtua tulikuwa na hope na wewe tulikuwa tunakuaminia tulikuwa tunajua kwamba wewe ukiingia utanyorosha mambo ile siku yenye uliweka biblia hivi chini tukasema shida zetu zimeisha lakini kumbe ndio shida zilikuwa zimeanza saa hizi venye tunaongea Mr Alfred Mtua bado kuna wakenya ambao wanasafirishwa kwenda Lebanon na hakuna embassy hiyo ni mikakati gani hiyo umeweka because before mkenya yote asafiri inji za nje kwenda kufanya kazi make sure kwamba kuna serikali iko kwa hiyo ground kuna embassy kama saa hizi United Arab Emirates kuna embassy ya Kenya hiyo ni serikali iko kwa ground kuna communication kati ya serikali na serikali kwamba mambo iko sawa huku ni sawa wewe unaweza kubalia wa Kenya wakuja wafanye kazi si mambo si mbaya lakini saa hizi Lebanon ndio saa hizi inataka ku overtake Saudi Arabia kwa mateso ambayo wa Kenya wanapitia Lebanon. Jua kuna embassy na hao wa Lebanese wamejua kuna embassy ya wa Kenya huko. So watu wanapatiwa mateso full time 100%. Wewe ukaenda Saudi Arabia. Ukaenda ukapatiwa kahawa Mr Alfred Mtua ukasahau ile mambo yenye ilikuwa imekupeleka Saudi Arabia, ukacheka hapo na Waarabu, muka shake hand ukaenda hapo uka make PR kidogo hapo na wasichana wachache hapo sijui wenye walikuwa wametoka wapi hata si makemboi mimi nilikuwa nafikiria utaenda kwa street uende kwa park uende useme kembo yoyote mwenye yako around kuja hapa kwa park kama unaogopa kuja niko park fulani kuja unisikize shida yanyu unapitia hivyo but wewe ulienda sijui kwa mahoteli wapi wasichana wachache sijui hata walitolewa wapi ndio waliweza kufika kwa hizo mahoteli za kifahari ukienda hapo uka make PR kwa kamera Mr Alfred Mtua juzi ulikuwa umekalisha rigiji chini ukimpatia story oh sijui venye msichana ameweka kijiko kwa microwave kalipuka hiyo ndio inafanya wachapo uongo wewe ukaanza kusema venye wasichana wanapatiwa shot moja sijui wanajisahau wewe kwanza Sunge explain nini na make sure mpaka kuwe nini ilifanya kuwe na dalala Mike Sonko ndiye alikuwa na staili apatiwe hii kazi kulingana na maoni yangu Ile shida nyingine ni wasichana wetu wana wanapotezwa wanaambiwa wewe wacha na hii kazi you are making 50000 shillings a month nitakuonyesha mtu hapa 1 2 3 shot mbili utameka 200000 Sasa wadau umesikia hiyo video nataka muniambie ni msichana mgani analipwa 50000 tuanzia hapo amesema wasichana wetu wanalipwa 50000 wanadanganywa wanatoka nje wanauza shot mbili 200k shot mbili 200k kwani ni shot gani hiyo kwani inakuja ikiwa na dhahabu ndani yake wewe ni CS mzima mind vitu zenye unaongea wacha kudanganya wa Kenya kama shot mbili ingekuwa 200k si mtu tu anauza mara tano anapata 1 milioni anaenda nyumba na maji sasa mm. eh Sasa so, ni hata America unaweza nunua shot mbili 200k. Kwani hiyo pesa iko golf ni pesa mingi aje. Hiyo hiyo wananunua shot mbili 200k. Alfred Mtoa acha kudanganya wa Kenya. Kama umeshindwa na kazi yako, sema umeshindwa na kazi yako. Wacha kushinda tena unaongea mbele ya deputy president at shot mbili. Hata hata hiyo mdomo ya kusema shot mbili ulitoa wapi? Ati wasichana wetu wanauza shot mbili eh, 1200. Hiyo ni kwa ufupi unasema wasichana wetu ni malaya. Ni sawa, hao ni wale umeongelea. Lakini wale wako kwa contract ambao wanateseka au hujatuambia kile umefanya kuwasaidia hujatuambia unataka kutambia wa Kenya wataka miaka 2 wakikugojea uwasaidie wacha kushinda kila siku ukiongea kuhusu rana wewe tuambie wale wako kwa contract wanasaidika aje heitha wanchiko jogona unamsaidia aje amemaliza contract na amenini amekatazwa kwenda nyumbani ati shot mbili shot mbili ya 200,000 ni gani shot mbili ya 200k ni gani ni wapi ulisikia hata America wanaweza nunua shot mbili 200k ni wapi ulisikia ni wapi na ukuje tuonyesha hiyo hiyo pesa wasichana wanalipo wasichana wanalipo 28,000 hiyo 50k ya kina nani 
Wangekuwa na lipo 50k hata wezi toroka. Tebu wafikishi yo 50k uone kama wa marana we utawai kuwaona. Wacha kudanganya wa Kenya. Sema ukweli. Alfred Mutua sema ukweli. Linini unafanya kusaidia wa Kenya. Wacha kushinda kuwabia hapa short mbili 200k. Short mbili ni 200k ya kitu gani. Wewe Alfred Mutua unaibisha wa Kenya na unaibisha hata serikali ya Kenya. CS mzima ukiongea kitu kama hizo. Ongea kitu yenye talete manufaa kwa njia Kenya. Ongea kitu yenye talete glory kwa njia yetu ya Kenya. Unazidi kuturudisha chini kama wa Kenya. Kwa sababu kama wewe ni CS mzima unaongea mambo ya short kwa mkutano. Ni nini mwingine tunatarajia kutoka kwako? Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Ivano TV guys and please in case you are not subscribed to our channel, we urge you to subscribe before we go far. Please share, like and turn on the notification bell so that each time we upload a new video you will be notified. So guys, we want you to share your opinions. We want you to comment in the comment section so that we can hear the other side of Kenyans who are working in diaspora. And uh, guys, uh, I will be updating you shortly about uh, the new update. Uh, about remember the Kenyans who are coming in Gulf countries, especially in Saudi Arabia. Uh, Alfred Mutua set some new rules, like they will be given a uh, one is it two days off? No, one one day off. That is within a week. They will be having a one day off. Uh, there will be emergency number for calling. There will be police number. And then, uh, yeah, I think there are three. I don't remember the other one, but kindly, I will be I will be updating you, uh, everything. So, guys, for me, now na moto avile aliku jauku angenda kwa angenda pale sakan deportation center. Kwanza ajone vile vitu kwa ground ziko. Angetembea ma hospitali katha. At least aone vile mambo kwa ground hiko. But I, I don't blame him. I don't know what happened. And uh, it has already happened because I don't know what has been even happening to our government. Because I remember the other time Sankok when he was here. Uh, alienda tu akasema vitu zake. Na this one it has happened again. So I don't know. I can't talk much about that. But only God will fight for us. Uh, he will not leave us. He has a good reason as to why we are here in Saudi Arabia. It is not that in Kenya we don't have uh, some, opportun some job opportunities. But only God who brought us here. He has the reason as to why it has happened to us. And he will protect us. And may all Kenyans in Gulf countries remember what God has done to their life uh, lafu mkumbuke mali mungu amewatoa na vile amewapigania msisau na mungu bye bye for now and guys please we urge you to subscribe bye we love you take care so that I cannot scream neighbors and friends Dominic, I have nothing to do natoka kwa nyumba nangara na kuna malenda I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house.